Hello and welcome to Team Fortress TV. You're joining myself, Commander X, and Molesto with David the Win on the camera um, as we look at Animate vs. Lego in this week five, I want to say. I'm pretty sure it's week five. Game on Process and Sunshine tonight. Uh, Molesto, how are you feeling about tonight's game? I think it's a really good game. I think both teams have a lot of to prove here. Like, especially, um, got Legos coming off kind of a hard couple of weeks there, losing the Epsilon, losing the Reason, like very hard games. Uh, looking to want to bounce back tonight against Animate, I would say. And like always, Animate season hasn't really been going that well so far. So they're going to get some extra points they need on the leaderboard to just climb up and maybe get some pride. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird one. The last couple of weeks, Animate have got more points than Lego, uh, but Lego had you know that Epsi to reason back to back and performed valiantly in both. Uh, we're almost unlucky to only get one point from the two fixtures, whereas Animate sort of stumbled across only getting two points from dogs and three from serpents. So Animate not really playing at their best um, compared to LEGO who have been on form but getting no points for it because they've been playing the top teams. So really, it, this should be LEGO's chance to you know get some points back on the board, get back into the groove of winning. Yeah, definitely. But there could be some upsets on the, what is it, the map, Sunshine? Process and sunshine, yeah. Sunshine's yeah. a bit of a, a bit of a weird one. Yeah, definitely. Got to really test the team player, both teams there. Like they're not going to be able to just, you know, mindlessly just the use of experience on maps like say Badlands, just kind of zone out. They're really going to have to test the team player of each other on that map for sure. Like lead to some funny plays. Yeah, lots of big flanks on on sunshine. So really going to open it up for the flanks of both teams. Uh, both teams have particularly strong flanks as well. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, who can really come out on top of that. Uh, obviously, one thing we should mention is animator without nation. No, without natural today, without their pocket soldier natural. So nation, who's normally their Roma, will be playing pocket and Forsaken will be merking Roma. So Forsaken's obviously a quality soldier experienced at Roma from back in the day. Uh, obviously, now will probably be a bit of an upgrade. It'll be more interesting to see how Nation operates um, at taking on the pocket role, you know? Natural is yeah. obviously quite a passive pocket, you know, quite a controlled, doesn't like to overextend or commit to situations he's not comfortable in. So it'll be interesting to see if Nation changes that. Do you know what I mean? If he tries to stick to their normal, their normal sort of yeah. strategy or if he tries to mix it up and play more aggressive. When Nation how played pocket that. for dogs, he was a very kind of like, jump in, die, while Spotty gets all the heals and the scouts get the heals and everyone just kind of cleans up off that damage. So that's the kind of style he was used to playing pocket from um, back when he was playing in dogs, but a lot of times change and maybe he'll change up a style to suit his team. We'll see, but he's certainly got the experience on pocket to put on a good show. Maybe he's a bit rusty, but we'll see. On to the Forsaken point, like both maps tonight, they are quite decent for snipers. Like the, uh, what, the Sunshine sightlines, the Process sightlines, they are very strong in the hands of a good sniper. Yeah, good snipers on both sides of the lineups here. Uh, in Demul on the side of Lego, and obviously in pretty much anyone on the side of Animate, you know, Walters, Nuki, Forsaken, Merking, um, even Nation prone to go and sniper occasionally. Yeah. So they've really got a, sort of an abundance of options in that. Just throw bodies and have someone just yeah. get sniper. <laughs> just, it's just a feet. lottery. Yeah, yeah. Just keep suiciding people in. Everyone gets one life at sniper. Whoever hits the most headshots secures it. Yeah. Wild strap, man. Okay. Let's see if I can get these stats up. In theory, this will work really smoothly. Mm -hmm. Oh, in theory. I'm going to last week. That's a bit of so, trouble. Okay, it's up. Nice. Good. So we're looking at the Lego team sheet first. Obviously, uh, they are at full strength, no subs or anything. You know, a lot of these players sort of, I guess, not too stand out sort of going into the season, but they've all sort of come into their own. Josh in particular and Sorex really sort of stepping up their game and taking them all the way up to sort of, you know, like a top three contender uh, against full tilt, really. Uh, we'll talk about that a bit more later, but it's become a bit of a two-horse race up there. Anything here stand out for you in particular? From the Lego I, roster? I, I like the exact 17 average kills and 17 average deaths on Josh. He's trading Consistency, nothing yeah. spectacular. Yeah, one Actually, for one same constantly. on Dr. Phil as well. What is this? 14 average kills, 14 average deaths. It's very round. It's very... Mm. Obviously, bearing in mind as we move on to the anime team sheet. Now, obviously, Lego have had a tougher run of games. 
So it's very, you know, their stats are going to be slightly lower than maybe they will be by the end of the season. So if we look at the animate ones, uh, again, not too much standing out, although you do notice sort of like higher deaths on their soldiers. Yeah. Like, and negative KDs as well. Even if they're probably getting as many frags as Josh and Damul, mm -hmm. uh, they're dying a lot more as well. Uh, but that's kind of, I guess, the way they play, really setting it up. Nuki, famous for baiting yeah. his team out. You see how stacked Nuki's stats are, you know, 24 for 14. Yeah, the stats in this team are very scout stacked. Just right away, you can see like all the stats are on the scouts here. Which is, I guess, how they play. And that's not really wrong. Let's see how they do it tonight. Like Nuki and Walders, there's two scouts. You can do a lot of work, I guess it's them. Yeah, so we'll see how that plays into it. Obviously, uh, Sunshine, I think it'll work better for Nookie, kind of baiting out his team a bit because of how yeah. open the map is, sort of letting the soldiers do the sort of the grunt work and then coming in for the easy cleanup. I should be able to bring up the head to head as well. Which head to head is this? Uh, Lego, the whole team. Ah, I see. Team versus team. Head -head. team. I'm pretty sure I pressed the wrong button and brought the. This is actually what I want to talk about most. So we're going to this. This is their records so far. Um, what you'll see is what looks surprisingly negative um, on the <laughs> on the animate side. It's not actually. It, it kind of isn't. Isn't that bad? Like they've actually taken five points from this, which does not leave them, you know, completely at the bottom of prem. Uh, you know, and that loss against Angel Dogs would get two points. Uh, but the thing with Animate's score so far is they've played the easier teams, like they've played all the teams around them at the bottom. Like they're finishing with that Epsilon to Reason sort of head to head. Um, so that's going to be. It's going to be a tough two weeks. Yeah, going to be tough for them. So this is maybe Animate's last chance yeah. to, you know, get a bit of an upset, get some points back on the board. Whereas we see from Lego's side, they've played like the bulk of their harder games. Like, the Epsi and Reason are out there. Like I said earlier, unlucky to only get one point, really, if anything, from that. Uh, but moving into the final stretches, they sort of go for that head-to-head -head race for third place, for final playoff spot with full tilt. Um, it's really, you know, they, it's really in their own hands. I mean, that, that game next week against LEGO versus full tilt is going to be absolutely crucial uh, for both teams. And uh, Obviously, Serpents... Uh, they should win that one. Not like a guaranteed six points. Serpents have upset a few teams, and Serpents are, you know, famously inconsistent. But they do, obviously, Granary and Badlands and that week seven fixture is probably going to favour the Russians. Yeah, and um, Lego are looking to get as much points as possible. That's the R2 points behind currently on the leaderboards behind Full Tilt. So they can't really afford to give up points that uh, they should really need. I like, can't really afford this late in the season, really, to just give away three points. Yeah, but so far, if you look at, you know, the teams LEGO have played, that they would be expecting to beat so far, that week one and week two fixture. Yeah. Um, uh, they both, they 6 0 TLR, they 6 0 Danger Dogs, you know what I mean? Those results now, you really just have to nail if you want to finish in the top three. Uh, they've nailed both of those results so far. So that's kind of what you have to do to make sure you're at least up there and around there. Mm -hmm. And obviously, so what, they're two points behind Full, full tilt, tilt right now? Yes. So Looks like it. I full Tilt still have Absalon to play. I think that'll yeah. be a big game for them. And I'll, of course, the LEGO Full Tilt game will be the biggest impact one. Yeah, we don't have it on stream, but Full Tilt's uh, sort of final rundown is they play Danger Dogs this week, and that should just be six points in the bag, you know, no question. So obviously, it'll be nice for LEGO to keep pace with them, keep the six points on as well, keep it at a two-point differential. Um, whereas after that, obviously the head-to-head -head between LEGO and Full Tilt, that could nail it for either team. But when you're looking at Week 7 fixture, which is LEGO versus Serpents, one LEGO could take all six points from, while Full Tilt are playing Epsilon in the final week of the season. That's good, I mean, that's going to be tough for Full Tilt to maybe convert yeah. any points off of. I think they've only dropped one point so far in this season, Epsilon, to, to LEGO. But still, it's going to be tough. So I think it's important for LEGO to take all six points tonight. So when they go into it next week, it's all to play for. Definitely. Because um, if you're full tilt going into the last game, like if you know you need like six points from the Epsilon game, it's going to be a tough game. Like it's, you're liable to choke, you know. Like LEGO, if they, uh, the next two weeks they win this game, if they win the uh, full tilt game, then they should really be really confident looking into the playoffs. So as you said, all to play for tonight. 
Yeah, they just got to try and keep pace. But obviously, I don't think anime are going to make it easy for them. Like yesterday, uh, yesterday, last week when they played Danger Dogs, I don't know if anyone had the sort of displeasure of watching that. I know I had the displeasure <laughs> of casting it. Um, it was an absolute mess, like really sloppy, kind of similar to the game last night between Serpents and TLI. You know, when it's just like. Mm -hmm. Uh, one team's winning, but there are so many mistakes, it feels like everyone's losing. No one deserves to win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can both teams lose, please? Yeah, you're hoping that both teams get, like, <sighs> both teams <laughs> like, like a get a major warning and get zero points for the game, yeah. you know? Like, no one deserves <laughs> anything. Uh, so hopefully, you know, LEGO have been very consistent in their play. Um, even against Epsilon and LEGO, you know, those sort of, like, those tough games, they've put on a performance, they've competed with them, they've gone, like, toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. Them. and they've lost but not lost a lot and like reason and epsilon really had to be on top form you know they need a sort of few crucial plays to deal with the result for them uh but if lego can keep playing how they played from the previous four weeks i think they should have it but it won't be it won't be comfortable yeah and animate being the underdogs here having a mark in the place of uh for second really doesn't really help the team's energy that they kind of need tonight it's a, bit of a it's a bit of a curveball, because, like, on paper, Forsaken's better than Natural, so, way great, but, yeah, it's like you said, especially if Nation's going to mix up how they play, it could really, it could throw a spanner in the works, you know what I mean, if people can't adjust to it. Yeah, he's a, again, as you said, Forsaken's a really good and really talented player, but, like, playing for weeks and weeks and weeks, you kind of build something that's more than just individual skill, that really makes your team kind of come together, and without Natural, maybe they're missing that tonight, which is... A pretty yeah. big deal. I'm not so worried about uh, like Walters and Nookie sort of cohesing with Forsaken on the flank. You know, both very experienced, well, Walters mm -hmm. especially, very experienced, very talented players. But Ryder fragmented, very used to that sort of conservative, slow play. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if Nation does switch it up and how Ryder and Fragmented adapt to the change of pace. But I believe we are going live pretty quickly. Uh, so, give me a prediction. First map, CP Process, Animate versus LEGO. 6-2 uh, in favour of LEGO. 6-2, okay, yeah, and we are we actually go. live. We're going to see Animate on the blue side, LEGO on the red side. And both teams running out to mid right now. Uh, it looks like Dr. Phil slightly forsake all over him, nice and fast. Gets Phil weak, but can't land the connecting rocket. It was down to 6 H, but we'll meet up with his mega, but look how much this has given Animate. Uh, Maul trying to make space on the right, but gets zoned out by Nookie. Josh is going to counter jump, and now Lego are trying to regain their footing in the mid. But there's a soldier all over there. Medic Condom will go down to Nation. Forsaken still has plenty of health and the high ground advantage. And they're just cleaning up these players. The scouts are trying to get aggressive now on Forsaken. Riders combining well with him, though, to focus him down. And it is just for one scout left in. He's going to catch a direct. Sorix is trapped in now. He's got a mountain of work to do. He's just going to run behind and just be sort of a constant threat. Forsaken wants to go back and just one-on-one -on -one him, but Sorex is just running further and further behind. He's going to take on Nation, but he's also got two scouts and another soldier to fight. Sorex is just playing for time right now. Uh, he will be taken down, but there is a full uber advantage in the hands of Fragmented. Forsaken doing very well uh, with the initial jump, and then open it up for Nation to go get the med pick, and then Forsaken sort of assume that pocket roll from him. Yeah, like Doctor's full. His med was over from wherever I had begun. Like, it's put down to like 10 HP at the very start. This was an easy bit now for animes. They walk into the second point, going from the lower PC area. A lot of damage actually juggling the soldier and he bumps. And actually, the Uber has not been popped to contest second. That means they can go into last. So they're just running through the shoulder. There are sticks, so he does pop in time. Very scary there. Yeah, the Mool came in from behind as well. Uh, but he's actually just going to bait a frag. So no soldiers right now for Lego as the aggression comes in. But they heavy. heavy up. But he's getting focused down so quickly. They're all getting baited towards the point now. And anime going to take a convincing first round. Very strong there from Animates, just on the same pace there, it was really good team play, just didn't even pop through the door, they just took it in, like, good calls, no sticks there, pop right time, just took it in the last textbook round there from Animate, to go into our next mid fight now. We yeah, we're going to see uh, Ryder, sort of normal pace to mid, Dr. Phil will look, opting for the slow rollout, wary of Forsaken, Forsaken really getting in his head off in that initial first rollout, and again, Lego want by favouring that right hand side, trying to move over, the scout's getting the high ground, no one wants to make a move yet. Josh is going to initiate, but gets bounced straight back. And now Demul's isolated on that left-hand side. Demul getting isolated a couple of times already in this match. Uh, but Lego are finding the frags. They need to support Josh right now as um, Forsaken has all the high ground. But there is a scout flanking the team, but he's been made aware of. 
Animate in a precarious position now as they're getting surrounded by scouts and depo. They're trying to move forward, but Walters take loads of damage. And the two scouts are just too dangerous. Animate don't want to contest. They lose Ryder. The scouts are still trying to go aggressive. Uh, but Walters is doing a good job of just shepherding Fragmented away from this. And actually, they're going to go for the trade. Walters gets in, gets the fort. He forces a bit of multi as well. Uh, they look like they want to chase anyway, Lego. Lego want to keep the aggression going. But if they fought enough time for the rest of the Animate players to come in, get the spawns and just shut them out of that choke. That was really risky for Animate. If a soldier jumped around the choke point behind Sears, Fragmented would have been gone. But as you saw that now, Legger's going in already. Oh, actually, really good rock on the condom. He does escape into the 0 10 HP. A soldier's tried to jump after him, clean up, does not get it. Nation <laughs> and per second, do go down. Oh, Ryder goes down as well, fragmented 70 HP, just trying to run for his life. He does get out. And while Lego with the aggression is absolutely crushing Animate at the choke point. Yeah, Animate really overcommitted to that, and they've completely sold out their team on last here. Uh, Nookie's going to do what he can, but he goes down. The spawns are only just coming in, but they're already stacked for cap. They can't buy enough time, and Lego with a very timely response. Fast runs. I had no idea why Animate committed to like, yeah, Condom was weak, but he's surfed into a place where there's like a medium health back straight away, so he's going to be straight back up to, you know, sort of needing two good shots to take him down. And Animate just saw blood and just threw everybody available at him. Uh, and now we see actually Demol coming in, doing the fast roll, like going straight into PC, just blindsiding the entire Animate team. Uh, and he's just going to be a constant threat. He's just waiting for an opportunity. He's going to try and focus down his scout on the point. Bit of a weird target choice from Demol. Uh, his team are trying to focus up on it, but they're not able to get much, uh, any frags. They've got good damage though. Uh, and now the aggression starts coming in and Animate are looking a little bit too defensive. They're getting picked off. Lego could just crush them here if they want, but Lego are being pretty conservative as well. Now it's Nation going deep, trying to get the high ground, gets focused down by Phil. And Lego are just absorbing these aggressive players, just holding their ground and finding a frag at a time. And again, we see Condom with Uber, fragmental only 80%. That just gives them the confidence to just push out the uh, anime players from the point. But they don't know the fragment is not Uber. Actually, Soldier does come in, maybe looking for a force, but does not get it. Fragment is too far back. We see a bit of a trade. We do see Nuki actually going up on the sniper. Soldier does bomb in onto Fragment. Oh, Condom does actually pop. Really nice force there from Forsaken onto Condom. Uh, we see an Uber trade now, it's fragmented, pops in return, just trying to get the demo through the choke. A lot of damage being traded here as Nuki is on the sniper, maybe not the best class to be as the anime players push in through the choke point. Yeah, now Dr. Phil's gonna go aggressive. Now Uber from Anime did absolutely nothing. Ryder's gonna get sold out. Nuki's hit his first headshot of the game though, and that might save him here. If Nuki can connect these shots, this might save it. As Demul goes in aggressive, pressuring out that sniper, he's opened up the door for Sorex and Phil to come in. And now Animate are in terrible position on that low ground, gonna have to fall out into lobby. Really not quite sure why Fragmented popped there. Like, he only had yeah. his demo man with him, so... It's maybe that's synergy you were talking about, like, for a second. Mm. I mean, Lucky had gone on the sniper, um, was, like, positioned by the choke, and then the force was fine. Like, Fragmented then walked forward to trade when he had a sniper waiting, I don't know. Bit of a misplay there. Yeah, I think it felt like Fragmented thought he had more people with him, because then, yeah. like, Ryder felt, you know, solo Weaver in that situation, like, after they've just popped their Uber, you feel like you've got to get frags. Mm -hmm. And Ryder just tried to do too much and ends up getting himself picked. Then they can't shut down that choke. And now we're going to take the Uber in. Nice early pop. Josh is going in. He's going to get denied and obliterated from that. And like just, alone, yeah. yeah. They just went, just threw Josh in. Bit of a weird, like a sack play, but with an Uber. And now they're going to try, Animate going to try and turn that into the push. You don't know if that's what LEGO were planning all along, you know, the counter pick into a defensive setup on two. And they do have all the doors locked down, so Animate can't actually gain any ground from that pick. Maybe we'll see Condom trying to build this aggressively, and this, maybe he'll just push right away as he gets it. He does have a slight advantage, 10%, though, not really what you want to push process last on, so I imagine he'd just wait. We do see Nicky on the sniper, is he going to go for an aggressive pick? He is actually looking in the lobby right now. He's looking at the scout, does not actually get any picks, and now they know they have a sniper on Nuki. Yeah, it's, I'm not quite sure what LEGO's sort of long game is right now, because obviously Josh didn't off-class, he didn't also didn't open the door for Dimul or Aizon or someone to go sniper either. Uh, so it looks like, I don't know if they're going to go for an attack <gasps> play again. Drop. gonna drop! Drops. Where did Forsaken come from? He just see, was he just he was in the top yeah. lobby there. Yeah, and that's just going to open, it's going to open it up completely. Condom is getting caught with his pants down there, Forsaken, making an impact in this game already. Ryder's going to lead out the charge, he's going to fight these players at the top PC, he's got loads of damage off actually. Really nice for Ryder, Ryder's just completely devastating them. No uber charge or anything. Demul tries to salvage it with a final bomb, but can't get any real damage onto Fragmented. And Lego just fall apart after that, huge play from Ryder. 
really come into his own. Just one versus three takes everyone down in PC. And Ryder's still jumping forward, locking them out of choke as well. And Lego are going to need to regroup here. Yeah, really easy mid cap for Animate now. There's no way Lego can contest. They do get the forward spawn to defend second. With Fragmented only on 50%, they might have some time before anime push. Definitely the ball's in the court of Animate now to make a play. I see a bomb actually through the choke, maybe making some space just for second scouting out. Do they have an off class possibly? Maybe a sniper by the rollout area or some medic app, just getting some viable info for a team before they push. Yeah, uh, Animate on 80% right now. They're still turning quite far back, building this really safely. Uh, but what that might actually mean in reality is by the time they actually get in a position to push, Condom will have like built up that 20%. And you can see it already, Condom's on 95 and Animate haven't even gotten into PC yet. Uh, and it looks like Fragmented's not going with them, they're just trying to go for a sack play. They trade soldiers in top PC, but don't really achieve much more than that. They've taken over PC, but LEGO know exactly where they are. And now Nation wants to go for the trade from low. They're sticky though, he's going to take some damage, he's going to get piped high, high, high into the air. He gets catched, caught just in time. But they've lost everyone else. A uh, terrible weaver from Animate. Uh, Nation's gonna try and go forward to just try and buy some time for his medic, but there's too many LEGO players. They're gonna crush the remaining two, wow. uh, the remaining Animate combo, and that was That's crushing for Animate. Like, everything that could've went wrong, dude. Like, the scout died a trap. Like, Nation took a good 200 damage before the Uber was popped on him. Like, he was left on 16 HP, like, in space by the time he got flashed. Yeah. yeah, that was just really, really sloppy play from Animate there. Do you see Nuki you now in the sniper trying to salvage an advantage here to see if he can pick someone? Yeah, he scoped up. 1v1 actually. Oh, wow. Well. one's a 1v1 oh. there. Oh, he, oh, he just gets destroyed! <laughs> Nuki, it's close range, just doming him. Easy peasy. I was about to say, Nuki looks like he's completely isolated now after Sorex won that 1v1, but Nuki had it under control. <laughs> it's not the pick they wanted, though, as losing one scout's not going to slow Lego down too much, and they still have a sort of 30% advantage, and Sorex will be back with them by the time they want to push, so Nuki is. So they've gone back to scout actually, so they're just going to try and take this with Nation on the defensive heavy. Keeping both scouts alive for the cleanup for the DM ability, I quite like that. Uh, they're jumping in, both soldiers trying to smash them down, they're spamming down at heavy, they'll get the heavy. Uh, now they're moving forward, they've only got two Fragmented from that. Fragmented 95%. Going big, Fragmented can't find it, is he going to crater? Demul gets on him. He got Walters as well and this has really opened it up for them. Dr. Phil on the point, now it's just Ryder. He won a 1v3 earlier in the map but he can't win it there. And as fragmented was what three percent away from that? Yeah, it was three. Like if he got it just before the heavy died, that would have been like a completely different last hold. But seconds just changed everything there. Still so we'll got a three k. Yeah, they got the frags they needed uh, just in the nick of time as well, and that's going to make it two one to them. Really, really punishing animate for that poor Ruber exchange on CP two. And now we see Forsaken can go in uh, sky high again. No, sorry, Demol go in sky high, force him back, Rider. And, but he's not really gained too much position, but Animate are clumping up on their health pack and this might make an opportunity for LEGO. But it's actually Nation who gets the first frag, so they can follow up now, but Demol's coming behind on Fragmented. Will be cleaned up by Walters, Condom catches a rocket, and now LEGO are on the back foot. They have to fall back, and the chase is on for Animate. We see Walters moving through already. Uh, there's no one really with Walters as of yet, so it looks like Condom's going to be more than safe, but there is a soldier lurking around, fighting them, he's going to kill Phil. He's, gonna, he's got the stick out on last. He's fitting the medic now. He can't get him. He's got one sick on him. Uh, but eyes on spawns in time to save Condom. And Condom will be able to build this Uber up for last. Um, so far, Animate's pushes have been pretty between mediocre and bad. And now they've got to push, push process last. So they need something good right now. There's Demol on the spy. Is he checking for Medigons? No, he's actually Demol going for an offensive spy play here. He is in the lobby. He's currently moving out now. He, and he knows he's taken on Sniper as well. Demol's going to see that, obviously, while cloaked. So he's going to be able back, to actually. scope Second. it out. No, oh, kept the hard counter to Demol. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he knows what's up. Uh, we see Demol is now uncloaked in PC, just biding his time. There's no real uh, like rush on this play. And we actually see Lego have eyes on in a defensive sniper as well. While Demol goes on his spy yeah. adventure. And I imagine Animate are literally just going to wait for Forsaken. Wow, Oof. they just catch him straight away. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if they want to go off that. Or if they want a more, you know, a more grounded pick, as we see Forsaken scoping. Going far right, all by himself, though, as the Uber exchange goes on, just trying to find space. The Ubers are traded, I, uh, Walters is going to bait to the point, won't be able to get saved by his medic, but Forsaken has an angle here. If Forsaken can hit a couple of shots, this could really open it up. Nuki's going to take down Phil. Uh, they're still trying to force their way in, and they've got some nice damage here on the Lego players. 
Nation coming in and baits everyone to point. That point's so close to being capped. Nookie's coming in from a flank. Both soldiers are so weak and Ryder's spamming them. Ryder's going to clean them all up. And really nice. I kind of like that from Animate. Like, Ryder and Fragmented taking all the focus, just allowing their flank to get a load of space and damage off. Yeah, and just like, there was so much cap time like the very start of that push. Really well done. Like, so many LEGO players had to commit just down on that point. As Ryder just left them all up. Indeed, Ryder now on the mid again. Uh, Nuki actually on the sniper to mid as oh, a soldier's landing on the Ryder. Not doing actually leaving him 70 HP. This one's up to Nuki now, he's even getting some nice headshots. That's, oh, there we go. As I go, yeah, I saw him just get stoned. Now a bomb onto the sniper. Will he get on? Actually, a really nice surf there to save Nuki. This is bad. Lego just desperately just oh trying to. God. Oh, he just got destroyed. As Lego just desperately just jumping at the choke, trying to kill the sniper, <laughs> trying to kill the medic, trying to do anything to salvage this mid. Absolutely it's a kind of like, oh shit moment when your like, squad gets headshot. Nookie did everything there, yeah. right? Like the the initial pick, early pick, which is what you exactly what you want from a sniper on process. Um, and then, oh wow, plus I can actually force his condom to crater on last while I'm rambling off. Wow. Uh, <laughs> big plays from both the sniper and the roam. But yeah, that mid from Nookie. Yeah. Actually, oh, we see them trying to go aggressive. Nation airshot the first one. Scout's all over fragmented, but he's not getting any damage off, and they pretty much wipe off of that, and they just this throw round it away. This round has been, oh shit, walk forward. This we need Do something, Dr. just Phil keep walking forward. Dr. on one side of a point. They're going to get knocked away. Phil's going to do his best. They're going to Uber, and they wow. can't do anything. Uh, Nuki, yeah, that mid from Nuki. So the early pick, followed by, like, Demol landed right next to fragmented, desperately trying to reload a rocket. Nuki kills him as well. Protects the medic, then kills Phil on the exit as well. So, uh, decent mid. And he's going to keep snipers in this mid. Uh, it was interesting seeing LEGO wasting so many bodies, trying to chase the sniper out rather than just force the rest of the players out. We're going to see Nookie take that position from Choke again as sniper. Uh, LEGO might just opt to go really aggressive. They're all trying to move around that left-hand side, trying to avoid the sight lines. But as soon as Demol jumps and goes into Nookie's point, of he gets body shot. Uh, and now they're still trying to go forward LEGO, but they're just getting picked. up. They're going to kill Eyes on here on the right. There's a soldier above them trying to force the damage. But Nookie's still up, but he can't get too much of an angle on anyone. And Sorex is doing a lot of cleanup work now. Gonna kill two and gonna start chasing Fragmented. Sorex is right behind him, but gonna get the health pack first. Is that gonna give Fragmented enough time? Dr. Phil's above him. He's on top of his head. Fragmented's not looking. There's a roller behind him. The scout coming in as well. Fragmented got the health pack. It's Forsaken arrives, but it's too little too late, and Sorex can clean him up. And really nice uh, from. Lego on that mid, just avoiding the sight line, making it difficult for Nookie to find anyone. Yeah, definitely. Like that's a downside of a sniper. Like you really do need that, those picks, or you might just go to shit, as we saw there. The last like it was just two pull opposite mids from just an absolute dominating mid from Nookie. It's just a bit of a meh. Like he body shot the jumping soldier, and that was really it from that mid fight. The rest of his team just got crushed. And now we're going to see this fully advantage come in. Uh, Nookie's going to kill Josh straight on the entry. I mean, Phil's pretty much taken in a solo Uber. And Phil's struggling. They're just going to run away. So excited to a sticky trap as well. Uh, now Phil might even get caught out in lobby here by Forsaken. Forsaken gets him super low. Can't finish the frag though. But surely Animate can push off those two picks. Um, it looks like there's a bomb from Demol. Uh, he's trying to do what he can, but he can't get on anyone. They're going to clean up the flank here. And they should make an easy recap of two. They can see everyone in front of them. Yeah, and they're looking to get in the mid as well, with their 75% yeah. Uber here. That's Bigger Uber struggling. advantage, but they've denied the forward spawns on Demol and Izon, so they should probably be able to straight walk straight through uh, once they clear these stickets. Uh, actually, Forsaken already in, jumping around, trying to make space, open it up for Nookie to get in, and Lego really don't have the bodies to commit anyone here, and they're just going to opt to get Demol on Sniper instead. He needs to get something with this Uber coming in. Actually, on saying that condom, 75%. He keeps building fast, he will have Uber to defend. That sniper, far back, he can certainly buy a lot of time, but on saying that, Josh does go down. Just could the pick they need is anime just walk in with the Uber now, trying to get as much space forward with an early pop. Just getting a lot of space in the point. Not really getting as many frags as they'd want. Just the mole and Josh, the sniper and the soldier. It's not to secure the point, so yeah, it's definitely enough, I guess, but that does leave condom with full Uber to push out. It'd be not Four the best. Seconds in. Oh, he's trying he to get a force. Oh, he does. Yeah. But uh, this yeah. is a, um, sorry I interrupted you, but this is kind of a tough call here as a meta, because pushing out here is actually still quite difficult to push out, fully bird advantage or not, so we'll see how they try to do this. Yeah, obviously they've got to be cautious for a second, just about to respawn whether he comes back on Sniper or not. Uh, he's going to stay on Soldier actually, and there is a Soldier Nation hiding above, he is going to get the Force off on Condom. Uh, a bit sloppy there from LEGO not spotting that one out. 
They get two frags, that should secure CP2, but they got nowhere near fragmented, so we're in a bit of a seesaw position now, as Anime will have a great opportunity to retake uh, CP2, but it looks like they're actually moving through you. Um, Sirs or Red Soldier's gone up top, Scout's trying to flank behind, I've actually forced fragmented in a really defensive position, but Nation killed Condom in all of this, and then we'll be flashed with the Uber, great save from fragmented, and they're going to kill Condom and Demol, and there's a Scout trapped in behind, he's doing what he can, but he's all alone, Sorex will be isolated. Nothing you can do there. The rest of the LEGO players are just going to try and fall back and set up a defense for last. But Fragmented's going to have about a 50% advantage off the back of that. Yeah, just LEGO going for those risky pushes, just trying to catch the enemy team off guard. I think maybe they're like 80%. We can push in right away before the good Uber. Maybe catch out like a couple of frags at the choke points. Our player's not expecting it, but it didn't go well. Our left wing last. Do you see that engineer? Uh, going up now from eyes on, you should have a level 2 at least in time, which can by a lot of the time, we can juggle soldiers through your bird. Just, uh, by a lot of times get a lot of focus, fire away from your other fragging classes, you know, your demo man, your soldiers, by a lot of time, which is nice in the defense, as fragmented gets a super. Demorgo sniper, sniper as well, as well. Yeah. it's going to be double scout through the closed door, but they're going to uber early and there's no one really near them, Phil's going to knock it out actually, and that's Same. crucial, but now they're going to they're going to spot the sentry really late into this push, but it goes down straight away, they're trying to bait the point, there's so much cap time, they're just going to all try and walk on it, there's so many bodies, the bodies come back in from Lego, the scouts there, Nookie's up top, and they somehow wipe them, Lego looked so close to losing that and having the round tied up, but they can actually wipe them and we'll get CP2 back right now. Anime How did Anime just, not convert that? You just all sit in the point and just, oh, just absolutely destroy like the uh, scout from, I think it was, was it uh, Nuki? Walters even just standing on the point, just doing loads of damage, bang time on the point as a demo man, just lit them all up, just got loads of frags, turned them into me smite. Mint smite, as we see actually Ryder really hurt the choke, just backing up, Nick on the sniper, just animate having to back up, give this choke. Be oh. oh! How much? Oh, fragmented, just 10 HP there, just barely escaped with his life. Uh, that was so, almost Josh. so yeah. poor from animate, like he was so, oh. like, that Josh was kind of unloaded, low on health, and they just almost got the med pick out of nothing. Uh, no, no luck of the Irish for him today, though. Um, we're gonna see Animate retake CP2. Their Uber advantage is about 25%. Uh, but they do have Nookie on Sniper, so I imagine they might opt just to wait for Nookie instead. Um, I think the biggest the mistake they made player. in that previous last pitch, they just went in blind, you know what I mean? Like, they were kind yeah, of lucky to get even killed. the gun was there until they, it was in yeah. their face. And then they all committed to, like, once they dealt with all that stuff, like, they reacted really well and really quickly. Um, but afterwards they just all kind of stood on the point too quick, like too much at the same time and the scouts were just able to focus everyone down with some spam from uh, the soldier as well. And now we're just going to play the waiting game as we wait for Nookie to try and find an angle. And we see Izon has switched up to Engineer. Once again, same position for the sentry gun though, so uh, Animate might be a little bit more prepared for it this time. Uh, but look how far back they are. Look, look at Nookie's position, like what's... is he hoping LEGO will push? Nine minutes on the clock. It's they they, you think it'll be a bit longer before they push? Maybe they are. Forsaken looked like he's sacked in, but only actually, or tried to get in at least, but it looks like he just traded and rolled out with a soldier. Um, and I think Animate might be parking the bus. No. No, no, no. You gotta believe. This is some next level stuff. This but... is. Yeah. Um, so now Demul swapped off to Spy again. I, Lego have uh, presumably, you know. Cottoned on to Ooh. what Animate have in mind. Uh, by a spam rocket there, but nobody saw. So the mole is still. They didn't know we spy. He's going to get behind as well. Uh, they're just trying to make space for Nookie. Uh, the mole is playing with fire right now. Walters is spotting behind for fragmented on those stairs. Like Walters is genuinely just like looking for him now. So going to be tough for the mole. Um, he's just given up, I think. <laughs> Yeah, like Fragmented, he's got his back against the wall there, where he had, like, everyone's really just watching out for a spy, they, they expect it, which is they need really hard when you're a spy. Like, they need, like, a fake push or something, do you know what I mean, just to draw, mm -hmm. they yeah, need to draw Walters' or something attention. Like that. Yeah, or someone to spam some pipes from Lobby, because Walters is yeah. all over, he's actually just going to go for Forsaken <gasps> instead, wow. and Nookie! Wow, Jamul switches up, gives up on the medic pick, and takes out two, absolutely crucial, uh, play from Demulna, and this is going to now allow Lego to mobilise. They're coming through this lower, they check stickies, they're walking through, Josh is going to lead it in, they're going to trade Ubers at choke, and there is a scout trying to run behind, his, Walters is 1v1 in him and Lobby, but just ignores him and runs to last. 
Walters is in on the point. Walters needs to win this 1v1 and he does! <gasps> Back up, wow. He beats Sizon, he takes it 4-2 to two and Animate, despite losing that play from Demur, are able to steal the round. Walters, he did this last week on Process as well. Um, I can't remember who they were playing. Dogs it would have been when he just stole the golden cap with a huge back cap again. Uh, Walters coming dividend. And now there's seven minutes left and Lego needs two rounds and Forsaken's all over Dr. Phil once again. Force back, super low at choke. So much space for Animate right now. The high ground's all there. As Demol tries to go behind to create a distraction. But Forsaken's all over Condom. Gonna kill him. Sets up the frag on Sorex and Josh as well. And Animate are dominating Lego right now. Uh, they should be able to clean up this scout. Wow, eyes on trades with Nookie. Uh, really shouldn't have been able to get that trade, but it will make little to no difference as Condom did go down. And if Animate parked the bus on CP2 before with 9 minutes left, they're going to cap CP2 for free here. So they're going to park the bus again, surely? They definitely could. Like, they don't have nothing to lose by doing it. Like, with two rounds on the board, six minutes on the clock. Really, if they do cap this point for free, and it's... Maybe statistically it's the best play for them to make. Maybe not the best for the viewers, but uh, <laughs> they want their points. They actually didn't have Nuki on Sniper that mid. Maybe they saw the last mid that wasn't going to work anymore, so they just decided to change him back to Scout. And yeah, Lego, they, and they would crush the mid. Yeah. Lego did count out Sniper very well after after like Nuki had one mid, uh, but then they counted it really well. And like, Demol actually goes down, so this is going to bait Animate into a push. Animate haven't been, always been the best going forward. Uh, they're going to come in through rollout. Uh, they're going to get Josh for free pretty much, but there is that heavy up, and they're far away from all the other players, so they're just going to bait point and stuff, and that heavy's forcing them off, and there's a scout behind right now. Nookie's going to focus down the medic, he's going to kill Con. Fragmented's getting on the point. Ryder's spamming the point, it's now just Dr. Phil and Sorex. Sorex needs to block the point, though, he's too far away from it. Animate have made it 5-2, to two, a free round diff with 5.5 minutes left. It's nigh impossible for LEGO right now, and what a choke. Yeah, definitely. Everything LEGO seem to do is just not going along in that. I see a... Oh, I thought I saw a crit there for a second, I did not. But we do see Demol actually on the sniper this time in the mid, and be trying to take a leaf from Animate's book. And this, that's what they need, is kind of blitz them out here to see a soldier from a second really aggressive bombing the truck. He does go down very early, not doing enough damage, maybe justify that. So we're looking now for Demol to make a big play. Nation is very hard as he bombs, just go down as well. I suppose soldier's dead for Animate, as a LEGO player just rush across the point, forcing out the Animate players to retreat. Surely Lego can't do it. Uh, they're feeling com They're going forward though, they're gonna try Gotta their best. Going, yeah. Demol on Sniper as well, so they have to watch out for that, and Animate are just giving it up. I guess they don't want to risk anything on second. I think if they hold on last, they can buy a lot more time than if they wipe on second. They don't really want to risk a wipe. They probably think the only way we lose is if we wipe on second, then they wipe with some mid again, wipe with some mid again, we throw yeah. away in three really fast rounds. Yeah, we're gonna slow it down. Our fragmentation still has no Uber, so short of them dropping. Uh, Forsaken going for a bit of a maybe ill-timed play right there. Gonna get focused down. We're just gonna take the super straight in. Nookie's in as well. Uh, Demol even on the sniper. He's gonna get uh, flash to be safe, but they've not got a whole lot with this Uber. But they have got Josh and Sorex behind though, and Animate are all a bit at sea. They're kind of surrounded right now. Riders isolated, stuck in spawn. Josh is gonna turn around and kill Walters instead. Riders gonna do what he can now, and they do get one round. Uh, Lego want it. Four minutes left. Uh, Lego do not believe this is dead right now. Demol's going to run Sniper to mid again. Nookie's going to run Sniper as well. Animate just have to... They can, they can literally lose this last four minutes. They just have to lose it slowly and they'll still get all the points. <laughs> um, as we go into the next mid, no fast soldiers as of yet. Obviously a Sniper on both teams, so we're going to take it a bit more steadily. Lego need to go fast though. Uh, Animate trying to get on that high ground, they're all avoiding the crates, but you know, just staying out of that sight line, moving around the right hand side. Now the bomb comes in, and they're actually forcing Animate back here, Forsaken goes down. Uh, Ryder just walks forward and kills Condom, who now could slow down the push. Nookie's gonna get one headshot. Now Phil's gonna get cleaned up by Nation as well. It's just Demol left on 26 HP, and that mid to clinch it for Animate. Yeah, this is really scary for Animate, the spice, so this like, takes so much time off the clock now to get all your spawns in and get trying to push in again. Even before you start thinking of pushing Fragmented, it's fully over advantage. They've nuked you on Sniper, like, Animate has so many ways now to slow this game down. For another minute at least. Yeah. Two minutes on the clock with two rounds to get a golden cap here. It's not looking good if you're a LEGO fan. No, LEGO are grouping up, but Animate are taking over Sue. It's just going to try and give Nookie room, but they're getting pinned in. But it's, it's really LEGO who need to make a move right now. Um, they, they're, Josh and Sorex are already moving up in PC, but Animate have rotated back to lock them out. Nookie's going to win the Sniper duel. Uh, Fragmented has Uber. 
Anime aren't pushing. It looks like Nation might just try and scope out some information. They're trying to focus down these people, but there's really no pressure on Anime right now. They don't have to do anything but hold. Every pick they get is just like stealing the deal. Uh, Forsake Josh will kill Forsaken, but he's just going to end up as a trade. Uh, Dr. Phil's gone deep, trying to just a hero play. He gets the force off. Condom nearly has Uber. I think they're just trying to get another round just to kind of keep, get some momentum or something to go. See, uh, Soldier trying to go in deep at the choke, but Nation will get the force off and get taken down pretty swiftly afterwards. Nookie's going to get trapped in as well. Uh, two minutes left right now. Um, All doable, I think. It's at a push. Believe. Uh, the Lego need, Lego need to move much quicker than they are now, you know. Uh, just gotta, stacking the count. Yeah. I think they might just take the, the, take the 5-4. Uh, make it look uh, uh, close. Uh, they're going to jump straight in all over the demo, but the rockets aren't landing from Josh. He gets an arrow, but will go down anyway. Uh, and Lego disjointed push right now. They had to rush it because their players weren't there yet. They're going to lose eyes on. They're going to keep going, but Ryder just takes a step oh, forward, locks oh down God. the choke. Walters gets one. Uh, they've taken control of loads of ground right now. Nation's going to clean up any possible back cap as well. Anime finishing with a flurry, cleaning up all these frags. Sorek's going to go down as well, and Animate want to push now. Fragmented standing up for choke, saying, let's go team, let's get another round. It's for the logs now. Yeah, want to make it a free, free round differential for these three points. Uh, Soldier's gone super deep. He Forsaken will crater despite landing on the fence, just not enough help. Condom does have an Uber, Nation's going to take it. They Uber in early, but there's no one there. Uh, Lego have rotated around them to block the Uber. Bit of a... Uh, messy play from both teams here as Animate try and regain some structure to their positioning. And they're getting the frags though. Nation and Ryder killing their counterparts right now. Fragmented super low, but Walters with a two shot onto Josh gonna finish him up. Nookie and Walters getting all the cleanup right now. Izon's on sniper. Uh, he's gotta be a big shot right now, but he can't get it. Animate gonna make it six to three, take all three points. And wow, what happened? What happened to Lego? I'm sure they're asking themselves that question. It's really disheartening, I guess. When you, they must have gone, gone into this thing. This should be maybe not in the bag. This should be definitely when you should be pretty comfortable getting. Now to lose like that, that's not good. Hopefully they're um, kind of like an experience, most experienced teams to kind of get over that. And just like think about the next game. Just talk about what they did wrong. But um, I don't know how they go themselves. Maybe they'll be a bit. Sometimes it's going to be a bit emo, if you know, and just kind of like, oh no, oh, did yeah. we lose that, oh, he threw. Yeah, it's, I don't know, I don't know if it's better now that they kind of lost it convincingly, so they can kind of just, you know, put it behind them, you know, it's yeah. not like they narrowly lost or something, and it was just mm. a few clutch moments. Um, as I believe, I'm on the logs, hopefully David is on the logs pretty soon too. Uh, but yeah, really, really, real shocker as well, the way it was so convincing, do you know, like, you know what I mean, like, they yeah. animate... It was 3-2 for a long time, and then what really kind of set it apart was that Walter's back cap. Like that's that, that's, on the momentum to shift that's, it the Yeah, game. like, Lego had a good, like, a good, like, stunted the push completely. Mm -hmm. um, and then it was a great opportunity for Lego to push them all the way back, you know, like, there was a previous round where Animate completely failed a push, like, either onto CP2 or onto Lars. And Lego rolled it all the way back, made the score 2-1. You know, really convincing. You know, Epsilon, like, you know when people say Epsilon, you know, give them an inch, they take a mile. Lego yeah. took that one mistake and rolled it all the way back and took a round off Animate when wow. really it was Animate's round to have. Um, but then when it was 3-2, Lego, again, with a similar situation, stumped the pushback and Walters just winning that one with one with eyes on, just absolutely sealed it. And from that point on, Animate just kept exploiting, you know, how they had to play, like how Lego yeah. were forced to play. Um, and I believe we do have the logs up now after a Look few technical Ryder, difficulties. Just, yeah, just right four away. doms at the end of that. Jeez. 30 to 9, absolutely insane. insane. Yeah, like it's reminiscent almost, you know, when Kader started the season with like mm -hmm. five deaths in four maps or something. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah just crushing you know everyone. I mean? Staying yeah. alive. Uh, that's part of the reason why his damage is so high, you know, just because he's always alive and he's always pumping always out. doing some damage, yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's interesting to see, like, Forsaken, like, putting out big damage, making all the big plays, but as, as, as Roma's lives go, 
bit of a shit, sacrificial shit, lamb. Shit KD, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Terrible <laughs> KD, uh, but Forsaken's contributions you know, can't be underestimated, really. Like, I think he really uh-huh. did make a difference. Um, a few other things, like, I guess just Phil and Josh just really not being in it a lot. You know what I mean? Like, look at the deaths mm-hmm. on Josh and Damool as well. All these heavy classes uh, really putting up big deaths, whereas, um, like... Ryder has like no deaths in comparison, you know. Yeah, like animate, I guess, much more able to the team play there. Much like to do much more work with the space. Like look at the scouts and the demo, like Ryder and Nicky Walter, so they have a lot more work mm. with the space they got from the soldiers dying than the Lego squad. That it looks like maybe that's kind of a timing thing with the soldiers going in, yeah. like when the rest of the team is in position, or maybe the scouts. But just like small teamwork stuff like that is like really really important because your soldier dying for nothing if you're miscommunicating. Yeah, the interchange from Forsaken and Nation seems really nice as well. Like even though Nation's kind of propping yeah. up the low damage uh, numbers right here, like the number of picks Nation got on like important classes, Make, yeah, like Condom and stuff, like it made some really clutch yeah. plays. Like I think it's only three on the logs, but like the number of times on mid, do you know what I mean? Forsaken would make that initial play yeah. onto Doctor Phil, then another bomb or something, and then Nation would use sort of the chaos that's created to find that opening onto Condom. And taking out the medic on mid doesn't always win you the mid, doesn't always win you the round, but it stops the other team building momentum because they have to stop and they have to build the Uber. Like, if you don't, like, even if you lose CP2, the Ubers are equal and you can really just slow it down. And when you've got a team, a roster full of, like, amazing snipers, slowing it down isn't the worst thing to do. Yeah, uh, it's kind of interesting. I mean, both medics kind of the same deaths, just fragmented on 9, and condom on 10, which is really unusual. Like, one, when you're, when you're pocket and demo. Yeah. Are dying that much? Like uh, comparatively, the medic you think would be dying a bit more as well with this combo. But no. what's interesting is, despite you know the even and deaths, you know the only the extra death is probably that drop from condom. But when you yeah. look at the ubers that fragmented got out, fragmented's getting out four more ubers. Even if you discount the one condom drop, that's still three more ubers. Fragmented have, has built up over the course of this. Because there was that time, was it Condom who died on, like... No, it was Fragmented even who died on 97%. Yeah, 90, yep, 97 yeah but even, even with that, you know, Fragmented is getting more Rubers out, uh, more heals, and it's just keeping his team alive. And that's why I think when the score went 4-2, and Lego had to sort of ramp up the pressure, try and play aggressive, just those consistent heals on them just made it easy. No, I agree. It really helps to sustain your pushes, like last players die when you're going out there. Live, my game's actually just crashed, so I'll quickly try to restart. Excellent. Uh, we are live on Sunshine Mid. I almost forgot it was going to be a second map. Uh, Lego <laughs> on the red side again. Dr. Phil going to go down early to Forsaken. Forsaken really has his number on uh, all the mids so far tonight. Uh, they're trying to move around that right-hand side, but disjointed heals from Anime right now, and that's actually going to allow Lego to force them out, despite that early pick on their demo. Both medics survive, though, but Lego, they have that momentum. It's what we talked about. Condom survives, and they can just keep going forward. They isolate Ryder. It costs Sorex his life, but it's not really a problem. And now this scout is just in no man's land. Walter's going to go down. Uh, Nation looks like he might want to trade it. Uh, but no, he thinks twice, takes it back to last, going to wait for that 6v6 fight. Um, but because Fragmented survived, it does mean uh, they're able to have this full uber. Nookie on sniper, Nation on heavy. They are set up for this last. Uh, Ryder will probably even have time to put stickies up. So it'll be interesting to see how LEGO approach this. I'm still uh, trying to join yeah. the server. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Josh wants that solo trade. He loves that trade. Fragment's going to pop really early, even though he's heavy. He hadn't even really gone down below buffed uh, health. Josh gets straight back out. Lego all the way back on CP2. And now they look for the repush. I'm not quite sure what their plan is, but Forsaken's actually got behind, but he fluffs his jump. And now he's actually going to get picked off in the end as well. Um, and this might be uh, Forsaken kind of gifting an opportunity to Lego to go in right now. They opt for their right-hand side. Moving it in, Nation repositions to face up to them, but they're getting frags, they forced them all behind the point and just made a mincemeat out of it. And now Lego, completely dominant, forced them back into the corner and cap the point. Going on to this next mid, it was interesting to see how Animate seemed really just jointed on that mid. Like, despite Forsaken's early pick on the demo, uh, Animate weren't really in a position to capitalise off it. Uh, so they really need to be more together, more cohesive in their sort of movement across mid as a team. As we see Phil arrive from the flower side, again, uh, Forsaken looks like he wants to come in. He goes in from the right-hand side, he's going for a medic this time instead, but can't find too much damage, gets focused down. Phil will get fragged anyway, 
Uh, now sort of a 5v5 situation. High ground taken by Demoul on spot, but he will be focused down, but he gets to eat actually air shots. Nation forces him back, uh, but the scouts are cleaning house for, for Animate right now. When that soldier's trapped in, Demoul will go down. Uh, Demoul really struggling to make an impact so far in tonight's games. I'm now rejoining the server. Do you think Animate still have the momentum from the last game then, or Lego kind of pulling it back? I don't know, Lego took a really quick round, but if Animate can match him here, uh, I don't see why not. Lego did keep enough bodies alive to put up a fight on the CP2, and there are stickies on the point. Uh, they are dead, but they don't actually get anyone, even though a couple of players walk past them. Now the soldiers are trying to get aggressive, and Phil's still fighting from this low ground and actually holding onto it pretty well. The soldiers come aggressive again. Neither Medic wants to pop first, it's actually going to be Lego who initiate the fight. Both soldiers are pretty weak for Animate here, and this could cost them once for Yuva's phase. Uh, Nation's gonna go get the health pack, but Forsaken goes down because of that low health. There's now a soldier flanking all over Fragmented. He puts Fragmented into the worst possible position. Demul picks up a 2k, puts so much damage out and sets it up beautifully for his team. And Nookie is just absolutely beasting them here right now. He's picked up a soldier and a scout. He's got Walters in tow as well, and Phil is just happy to survive with his and his medics alive. Actually, Phil's not done. Phil wants more. But the scouts are just just waiting, like begging Phil to give him an opportunity to go in there. And eventually uh, the cap will go down, but Lego are going to get straight back on this since it was only the scouts and their spawns were much closer. And now uh, it looks like a cap of CP2 is not really going to gain um, anything more for animate other number forward spawns. Crash rejoining the server once again. I guess CP <laughs> Sunshine doesn't uh, like me very much. No sunshine in Ireland. Sunshine, exactly. It's actually <laughs> like uh, LAN all over again. I think I crashed casting with you there as well. Yeah, we are a, a cursed pair. As we actually see Lego <laughs> trying to get aggressive, just walking in flowers. They've got an uber advantage, but Forsaken is behind, but he's super low and healthy and isolated. Uh, at sort of gambled the wrong way there, Forsaken wasn't able to find the medic, and Lego will retake mid for free. Still 30% uber fragmented needs, and looks like Lego want to go straight from pushing their own flowers to the enemy's flowers. Josh leading that charge. Going in, he's going to try and isolate Scout here. Scout surfs away, and Animate just keep conceding ground. Nation again, uh, he go, sort of goes in, but isn't actually anywhere near Condom. So Condom's just going to keep walking forward. No uh, sweat off his back. He can keep his Uber, but Fragment is using his time to build his Uber up. And now Josh is still plowing forward, going in for that solo Uber trade. Uh, Fragmented pops straight away again. I feel like Fragmented can maybe milk more. Uh, but Josh actually finds a frag on a scout. He's going to challenge a soldier up top, but Forsaken was Uber, so Josh is going to go straight back down. But in comes Demol on half health, though. He's going to try and bomb anyway, gets focused down. Nation comes back out on heavy. He seems to love that class, and that's going to seal the defense for them. Ryder gets the best of his counterpart as well, and now Animate can move forward off this. No? Still not in? No. Okay. Nice. Solo cast. Yeah. <laughs> I've been trying to smoke this cigarette for like a solid 20 <laughs> minutes now, it keeps Just going shaking. out. Yeah. <laughs> Just so you need your fix. But uh, yeah, the nicotine withdraws. And Demol <laughs> made a switch up to Sniper actually, gonna Dome Rider instantly, and then Nookie overextends into Cafe. Gifting CP2 back to him here right now, and Izon's even gonna win a 1v1 with Forsaken on the flank. Uh, the Soldier Bombs from Animate really not on point so far in this map. And they're gonna walk straight into last. Fragmented is so close to it, but they're just stacking the points. Someone needs to get on it. They Uber on, but they juggle the Soldier away. Fragmented got the Uber in time, but great denial. And Lego are gonna make it a 2 0 lead pretty swiftly in this uh, second map right now. Rejoining again. Should only be a second, hopefully. We're gonna see Phil opt in for um, the Flowers rollout once again. Uh, gonna try and get some early spam on, but most of the team are going flowers for anime just for combo walking for each poke. Uh, Josh tried, Demol even tries to get aggressive nice and early, but actually serves it all the way out to the enemy's cafe. Uh, and now Lego have a great position. Demol's gonna come in from behind. Demol can do so much work right now. Gonna get damage on the demo and the medic. Kills fragmented, gets the demo weak, and Demol set it up beautifully uh, for his team right now. Ryder just desperately trying to fight this scab. He hits one pipe, Sorex will finish him off though, uh, and now Demul is starting to find some plays on mid. It's really, uh, it's going all Lego. Control point is being contested. Uh, but they did lose Condom in the midst of that, and that is going to mean, again, uh, Anime did kind of stall it out on last. Um, Condom going to spawn slightly later. No real disadvantage as such, though. Fragment is only with like 10% or so. Uh, we see pretty much cookie cutter alignments from 
both teams except for Nookie on the defensive sniper. But uh, Scout's walked in already. I don't know what. Rex was just having a wander in, seeing what was happening on last. Gets body shot and quickly retreats. Uh, so I imagine Lego have just sort of opted for the solo Josh trade. Um, and I feel like they've been quite successful so far. But I feel it's more, it's less due to Josh and more due to fragmented sort of um, bitch pops, basically. Like he just <laughs> pops so, he pops so early. And it's not the worst thing in the world because it keeps the Ubers equal, but in that situation when you can see it's just Josh coming in, like it's such an opportunity. And it's actually crits from Lapa. The Ubers pop off straight away. Dr. Phil takes a load of damage but will survive and he's just laying crit stickies down so they can't be chased. Uh, but Animate know right now that Lego just need Lego can just sit and wait and build this up and have a 25% advantage. Really, uh, the play from Animate should be to push here. But no one's really making any forward uh, motions from them. Not quite sure what their long-term goal is. At the moment it seems to be stand here and wait to be critsed upon. Uh, which might not go so well for them. We see Walter swapping up to Sniper, taking his turn. Uh, but he can't find anything. And I imagine we're just going to go from top right to try and avoid that Sniper sightline. Uh, yeah, Condom's um, got it now. He's put it on Phil and we are going out left-hand side. Might walk into the Sniper, but Walter isn't looking. They've got a level 1 sentry up. But Critz comes out. He kills Fragmented straight away. Uh, can't find much else of it. Soldier gets aggressive onto him. Anime getting a good few frags of this, and they just crushed him in that near side. Uh, Dr. Phil still in, but he will be cleaned up. It's just Nookie and Forsaken, and they will clean up everyone. And they got fragmented straight away, but no other frags. Phil kind of wasting the crits after that initial good shot. Hopefully, I should be in shortly for like the second time I said that. It is sending clan info. Fingers crossed. Oh, I am in. I am in. No way. We should I have like a like a in. celebration. Yeah, you can. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah just uh, let let your voice just yeah, tell, tell count me what you're for a second. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy fragmented on forty percent. Uh, even the as we see Demol on the sniper, we see Doctor Fallen Torx actually going down, which might be a push for anime. Oh, actually, fragmented does actually get picked there, so no push for anime. Just kind of scramble in this messy fight. Just any frags that they can. As Demol just gets gunned down by the scout of Nuki as he's going for the medic as well, Condom, oof, Condom just destroyed by both scouts, like what can he do there, nothing, as the anime scout just clean up everyone, just Walter's trying to get anything he can onto the point, but oh no, just gone down, that should have be an easy cap now for anime getting middle. Now, uh, LA are winning a lot of these engagements, but they're not winning them on last, which is the ones that really count, and LEGO look like they want to contest this, uh, just not give them any ground, keep them locked out, and Demol's actually come back on Sniper, gonna kill Ryder, and this will actually allow them to deny the mid cap and be able to regroup, but Fragmented does have a sizable weaver advantage. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but like, pushing into a sniper it can be a bit of a scary thing on Sunshine. Maybe force you to pop early, maybe like if you lose a player as you walk in through a door, even your advantage push can go south pretty quick. I'm saying that they are pushing in now even without the Ruber. They're back capping. Forsaken's behind, the scout's behind. They're getting on the cap, Forsaken and Walter. They're all flooding back to try and deny them. For they can try and deny the scout. They Cap's can't get so the cap close. Though. Lego oh. arrived just in the nick of time. I wouldn't be surprised if Nookie maybe tries to make a play for that as well. He's yeah, it's just so re close. With his med. Uh, but yeah, they go through both flanks right now. Lego being extra cautious to make sure no one else can get behind and finish that cap. Uh, but now it looks like they want to block. Nookie's right at that door. He's going to try and go out. It's risky though. Uh, and they are, there's potential that they're getting flanked, and actually Sorex just comes in and just completely beasts Ryder. Um, and now, uh, Animate are still trying to fight this ground, but Lego just walked in behind them. Lego has got a great position right now. And they're going to milk Fever as well, but actually Phil gets dropped. Uh, and that's going to be devastating for the Lego side here. They lose eyes on as well. They're and now Josh is, Demol gets oh, one shot. shot. Demol needs some more headshots. Air shot! Uh, oh, wow. Wow, great from Josh right now, but Walters is just cleaning house in the meantime. Uh, nice play from Walters, despite Josh's best efforts, and that's going to end up in a 3k for Walters and a great chance to push out. But there's a scout behind Sorex is there, he's 1v1ing Forsaken, and it doesn't even matter that Nookie spawned. Forsaken just deals with Sorex, as Walters is still trying to get in this cap. Lego are gingerly spamming from their choke, they're just trying to get a sightline for Demold. Uh, he can't really see anyone as of yet, and it looks like Animate again just keep trying to roll it forward. Forsaken in an engagement with Josh, both soldiers go down low and just uh, equalize away. Um, and I'm not sure if I may want to go before they have Uber here. They look like they want to go in straight away. Demol's looking straight down it. Uh, Nation's trying to find his way to get onto that sniper, but they kill 
Rider, Rider straight away. Yeah. And now the scouts are actually 2v1ing, forcing the scout back. Animator really scattered in their fighting now. But Nation finds a pick on Josh. Now they're trying to move forward. Fragmented nearly has it, but he doesn't get it in time. That could have changed everything, but now the scouts come in. Walters and Nuki. Uh, Nuki goes down. Walters is going to get two. Surely he can't get any more. He will be cleaned oh. up by Aizon's pistol. And the scouts from LEGO eventually come out. Trumps, but really messy engagement from both teams. Yeah, like once again, fragmented, just dies in like 90, what, 97, 98%, something like that. Just they were able to completely change that fight there, so they were scout would have easily been able to clean up the last two players, but it's not the case that we see now. And I mean, Lego fighting over control a second. We do see actually for a second go down there to the scout of Aizan, just cleaning up, just trying to get some position on this point, but nah, no, I mean, actually, they're going to give this up. The spawns from Lego are coming in to contest this. Too yeah, I think it can be a bit scary. Like, no root demo man to defend second. It could be scary for animate. As yeah, Lego take this fight and just walk in now. It's a soldier bombing in. There's a lot of damage actually, but frags yet. Actually, I was just saying that Nation does finally get heck out, and there should be a point now for uh, Lego. Yeah, they isolated a couple of players, just took the sort of safe option, didn't overcommit there. And now it looks like they want to jump in. Phil's jumped into last. He's trying to get onto Fragmented. Meanwhile, they push. Great synchronization from Lego here. She's going to completely devastate animate. Only Forsaken left. And after all those sort of good plays from anime in sort of between two and three and four, uh, they lose. They lose it, and Lego might extend to a three-round lead. Yeah, just Still stepping plenty into of this time, game. Though. Like Lego are coming back to the vengeance, aren't they? Just like three zero right away in like fourteen minutes of play. They just they want this. Like they need these points. They can't really afford to give them up as we were saying earlier. As they go into the smid, looking to make it a quick four zero. I'd imagine as we. See yeah, uh, we see Nuki rolling out Sniper as well from that choke. Big open mid, plenty of uh, space for Nuki to get a shot in, but they're just standing really defensively at choke, so Nuki's going to get the first. Uh, they're going to isolate Demul underneath as well, and now the LEGO players are weak. Sorex is going for maybe a flank. He's just going to try and get out, actually. Going to try and leave through Cafe. Uh, but there is a soldier aggressive, a scout even, Walter's aggressive already. But he just gets completely two-shot by Sorex. He'll get traded for Nation. Uh, but... Now it's not going to really achieve anything as there's only two players left, eyes on building his uber with condom on last, and anime need to take this um, if they want a chance, you know, and there's still plenty of time, but they really need to start converting these last pushes if they want to be able to get back into this game. Yeah, just like Josh, he's going to just get destroyed out, but he's just got air headshot as he was bombing the choke. By Nuki, but now we see can have a bit of a spam more here, it's both minutes, if we were condom on 50 HP, they're actually just not pop, getting quite low. There was a sniper inside of both teams packing the slow. Nuki actually does go down to a sniper less for animate. At, oh, but Josh goes down in return for that pick. And the put over is actually four, yeah. so this is really bad. Really nice. Now. Really nice from Lego. Like, uh, they just stepped up the aggression after that pick. And now we actually see uh, soldier trying to come into last. Oh, Nation God. just goes straight into the Splat. ceiling. Yep. Um, but yeah, Lego is just have everything completely in control and animate once again. Botch. Uh, their attempt at moving towards last. Maul scoped out Forsaken, he can't get behind. Walters is hanging around that low ground. He loves a backup, Walters, uh, but he's going to get spotted out and forced out. Lego taking extra precautions after uh, that process. They do have Nuki on Sniper. He's going to force people back and he's forcing Lego to sort of go a direction they don't really want to go to get to this. Change their position, but Sorex is finding Frax and um, Izon's capping the point, so it's actually going to be a pretty good push out. And now they can move to mid, but they've still got this Nuki sniper to worry about. And they're going through flowers, and Nuki's on the house, exploiting all the high ground. Gonna hit Phil straight away, and they're gonna uber early because of it. They kill Nuki, um, but Demul's denied from getting aggressive onto Fragmented, and now Nation can take this full uber advantage for hitting all over them. He doesn't even need it. He's actually gone too far. Though. Uh, Fragmented's end up popping, but it's only the respawning scout able to uber. Walters is gonna have to clean up everyone right now. Uh, a feat that's in no way beneath him as he picks up the two, first two kills with it. He's now 1v1ing Josh, but there's another respawning scout and that's surely going to force them out. They're just trying to pistol focus for Medic here. Uh, they're going to keep going, forcing Josh back. He's so low, 35 HP, lands on the health pack. Josh will escape, but the scouts are just ploughing forward right now. But Animate are going to call it for a second just to regroup with their team. Yeah, the power uh, forward spawns there, having control of me, just really clenches that for anime. Just allows a pretty easy defense compared to Lego, who had to push into that forward spawn advantage. Demo wants to bomb as well, uh, just takes the high ground actually, but catches a pick, will go down low. Um, there's some nice damage here from anime, but they look into to wait for that uber advantage before sort of pushing it home. Nation doesn't seem sure which way he wants to push, and his indecision will allow Condom to build the last 10% of his uber. 
And they want to go through Cafe, but there are stickies above it. They sh Nation's going to check, but he catches the damage and goes down super low. This has happened to Nation in process as well. It makes it so hard for him. Goes deep onto Condom, but Condom milks and milks and milks. Uh, and now Josh is going to get such a sick charge off here. He kills uh, Ryder without even using it. And now it's only Fragmented left, and they've not had to pop. He's going to get focused down over Scouts. And once An again... easy couple of points at least for Condom. Animate just uh, gifting it to Lego here with these bad pushes. Yeah, like when the pocket's out, we can't even force. Like he dies before he gets two rockets off, so the threat of like dropping him out isn't even there when he dies that fast. Unless Connor doesn't look it really well. Let's push on to the second point here. Would you see someone hiding in the forest spawn actually? That is Nation. He'll be looking to go for a play on the medic. And actually, he is oh, there. What? Oh, he does. Wow, really nice what, play from Nation there to get the uh, forest. What a wool hack. Like, Nation yeah. walked out at, like, the Back. exact second he wanted. Uh, Nation clearly cheating, but it's not enough right now, as LEGO are still going to take this to last anyway. Uh, they kill two straight away, but, and now they're, Forsaken's gone back to Shotgun, actually. Interesting switch up from him, maybe they've swapped roles. Uh, LEGO are just going to stack the point, but Forsaken gets there just in time. Cleans up a lot of people, and now LEGO wipe. Uh, the Curse of Sunshine last um, for Wait, both teams wipe. right now, yeah. The all swapped up to Sniper though, so... Uh, but all in this play really, like that's take 5 minutes off the clock and Animate are no closer to tying up the score right now. Uh, they're going to walk through Choke again, uh, they don't quite have Uber yet, they made this mistake once before, but LEGO don't have anywhere near an as much presence on mid, so it should be comfortable for them. They just need to uh, have a much better push than they did previously. Um, from 3-2. to two. They're choosing to go Cafe again, one of the most difficult ways to push. They're going to Uber really early again. Uh, Phil's going to try and jump out. He has the health. He's going to get it out. They're going to try and chase Condom. Condom goes underneath. Good choice from Condom there. Will secure his life. They actually isolate Forsaken. It looks like Forsaken and Nation have swapped over roles here. Bit of a weird decision halfway through. And now Phil's going to go with the re-push. Uh, trying to force them back. Uh, they're running behind though, but there's actually a scout on the last. Back up. Walters Whoa. steals it again! How? Walters single-handedly just stealing caps. Like, Nookie gets the clean-up frags, Sorex has the beastie air, but Walters is the one out there it just getting the caps and winning games yeah, right caps now. Yeah, matter. Cap and Myra always says it, caps win games. Exactly, and then a back cap like that, it buys so much time, so you don't have to spend two minutes fighting, you just cap, 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 and with the 10 minutes on the clock going to the smith, the swan might need. Get some fast runs on the board. Nookie is actually on the sniper. They might be trying to hit some headshots. We see a really actually fast bomb on him. It just gets destroyed wow. right away. Really nice read there from uh, was it Dimul? Just actually just destroy the sniper yeah. at the very start of the fight. And that just this mid is a disaster now for anime. It just got red completely and just outplayed. Yeah, just forsaken and fragmented left alive. Gonna have to fall back uh, and just really opening it up for them there. Um, we saw it's from both maps. Like Nookie's had one good mid as sniper. And then Lego have adapted, just, adapted yeah. straight away. Jamal with an excellent play, catalyzing on Animate's defensive position around their sniper. But wait, they were defensive around the sniper, but there was no real protection either. They were just standing far away. They were trying yeah, to Yeah, they're just distance. eating the same splash damage at the end of the day. Like yeah, especially the in, in that tight choke as well, where the, it's, so, it's so narrow. And now we're going to see an Uber v Uber exchange, but Lego still with a two round lead. Uh, they like to take Josh in solo on this, and that's why they're trying to open it up again, but Josh eats a uh, barrel load of spam, going to be forced down. And we see actually really aggressive position for Forsaken and Fragmented on his left-hand side, trying to find the damage, but Phil's just waiting to pounce. Uh, he actually gets Nation instead, and now Lego are going to go with that. We're going to double Soldier in, Fragmented going to pop straight away. The Soldiers are going to try and get out, one's trying to get out lower, but a back cap's been started in all of this as well. Holt is behind once again. Lego all go back, uh, but they didn't kill either of those two low Soldiers. Uh, they killed Josh now finally, but it's allowed all the LEGO players to come back in and LEGO are going to make it 4-1 oh. straight away. Absolutely devastating for Animate. 8 minutes on the clock is getting pretty scary. You know, like 3 rounds, 8 minutes 30, you can still do it and get a golden cap, but it's not easy anymore. Like, especially on a map like Sunshine, you really can steal mates, especially around the last point. You know, mm. like a lot of off classes mm. are very viable here, you know, the engineer, the sniper especially. And we see Nuki going back to scout now, and this is what they did on process as well after Nuki got counted on sniper, they just went back to their sort of standard cookie cutter lineup. Uh, and now we're going to take it more of as an even fight. Uh, loads of damage on Nuki straight away though. Soldiers are pretty defensive right now for anime. It's actually going to be Nation coming right now, flying onto Condom, launches him in the air, misses the air shot. That's going to allow Riders to plow forward, takes down Condom. Now they just need to 
about gather around Fragmented, but the scouts are separated from the heels. Nookie's able to kill one, he's on low health up top. Meanwhile, Fragmented's trying to 1v1 a scout. The scout takes the health back and kills him, but Nookie's just cleaning everyone else out on mid. Eyes on versus Nookie in a one-on-one -on -one now. Uh, he's really low. Nookie's trying to just pistol him down, but Eyes on has too much health and will eventually take him down, but Nookie might have salvaged that right now, because with these earlier spawns from the animate, players, uh, they might be able to capitalise off Nookie's four-man and just challenge it straight away. And that's what Nation wants so to do. Aizon doesn't seem confident. Uh, he's pinning the soldier down before Forsaken arrives just in time. Aizon serves it down lower. Nation ends up trading with him. And we might see a rematch of mid here. Lego's medic is going to get in there first. But now it's a 5v5 on middle. Lego with half a point cap. And they're trying to stack it again already. Uh, here comes Demulvo. Demul and Josh just taking the high ground, trying to uh, zone the players out. But Demul goes down. And they're still spamming right now. Next, the next frag is going to be crucial right now. Dr. Phil is dangerously far forward, but actually bakes the in. Walters and Ryder are surrounded, and Ryder's walking forward has done a pile of damage. But Sorex is able to take down Walters. Ryder needs to hit his pipes right now. He hits one. Sorex is dancing around on low HP. Uh, Lego are going to regroup around Condom now, and that's going to be the end of this mid fight, finally. But anime. Anime, they can't afford they these long, long fights. They really can't. Six minutes now. Um, left on the clock and an uber advantage even for Condom due to that earlier spawn and they're going to try and move forward with it uh, but Josh goes down, drops nice an uber, force. they lose Nation uh, Ryder's going to try and jump out, that's all over here though, fragmented on 99% will get it this time but there's only three players remaining and they need to clean up these people behind us, a scout behind us, one that they don't know about Walters and Forsaken combine though and they're just on the hunt right now um, for an is low soldier Demul behind. Demul just wants to buy time though. And Animate aren't even interested in Demul. They're just gonna <sighs> Sticky try and walk there. forward. Just killing for a second. All needs frags uh, count for so much more now the time's going against them. And Demul is still just hiding in the logo, trying to farm the small health packs. But we'll yeah, get Animate need off. to push now. Like they've got yeah. five minutes started, Animate need to take initiative and take a push into the mid now. Yeah. Oh wow, uh, Nookie goes down, nice two rockets from Josh, takes him down straight away. And they're just keeping this keeping this pick, and Condom's getting closer and closer to Uber. Uh, they're going to try and push, they do need to push, but there's a scout behind, oh, Fragmented no, Walker, it's a sticky. Uh, they're just going to have to DM it now. Scout comes in, trying to get onto anyone, but Josh's uh, pocket work is faultless right now, cleaning up everyone who gets near his medic. Uh, just one soldier left underneath, Josh is going to claim that one as well. Nookie on Sniper, and they need a drop on this list. Yeah. Five minutes left on the clock. Nookie's going to go all out by himself. He's going to go top left, but Shabir Soldier's going to be there. They spot him out straight away. Nookie's going to die here, surely. Demo will finish him off. Um, and it, writing's on the wall right now as LEGO looks to put it beyond Animate. Yeah, they should have a gimme round here. It should be 5 1 for the short list. LEGO walking with a big uber advantage. Yeah, See Josh is coming anime, around that left hand side. The right side. Yeah, they're going to Uber in, both scouts, everyone piling from this door, and there's so much damage. They've pushed everyone back into spawn. Uh, they're just isolating players off now. Walters is behind, maybe he can make a difference, but they've just lost four bodies in quick succession. Lego are going to pile everyone onto the point. Six kills, zero deaths from the Lego roster to make it 5-1. Four really minutes, 20 seconds left on the clock. Really commanding map from Lego. They haven't really let out the pressure at all, they lost one round, but after that, it's just... Even before that... And I mean, really can't really catch a break. They've been playing so well. Yeah. They need to win this mid, they need to win a fight. Like, even if they do, it's not enough, is it? As we see Lego just going in now, taking the high ground, just taking control. Both soldiers actually go going behind from Animate. <laughs> yeah, just trying to go for some desperate play. Call oh, wow. Dr. Phil. Do go down, maybe this could be what Animate need. Actually, Lego just getting crushed this mid. Friday Emmy actually is right at 50 HP per second, 130. Can they win the 1v1? Just Josh left, just jumping. Just getting some spam. Will Ryder be able to clean him up? Ryder's getting a lot of sticks and misses the stickies. It's a 1v1 here. Ryder Ryder jumps chases. after him, he wants the frag. Josh with the stick, does he know? Oh my god, this is... Oh, the, here the, we go, it's the battle. The plane trains out, Josh tries to oh! cheat with a rocket, but loses. Serves and Josh right for trying to cheat in a melee fight. Um, uh, animated Ryder one today. Him up. And what the score yeah. says, <laughs> an animated one. <laughs> and we see Forsaken on Spy now as well. Uh, desperation plays, as we see animate get all over the mid. Uh, they do have Demul on Sniper though, he's going to peek around the corner, <laughs> kill, kill him straight away. Walters is behind though, he's been read by Dr. Phil. Uh, sets that frag up for Walters. Uh, the Spartans actually got behind now as well. Ambassador they're all 
Uh, Nation kills one, and actually <laughs> Forsaken will get the medic frag. Uh, trying to clean up with the ambassador right now. Is fragmented actually gets the Dr. Phil frag. It comes Josh so late. Trying to focus down the spy, but Forsaken. No headshots, plenty of frags though. But walks straight There's into the There's a headshot for Forsaken, just gets yeah. blown away. I don't think uh, anime tech misses this seriously anymore. <laughs> Maybe, it's maybe, maybe the ambassador though. sniper spy is yeah. kind of the, the strat. Yeah, uh, it's, it's actually actually it did better. work. Yeah, <laughs> this is a, yeah, it worked. <laughs> this is the cleanest they've won a push in a while. And we see Walters trying to take a melee fight, uh, one, a melee 1v2, uh, but no match for the two scouts. As Nation comes piling in, maybe Walters was just a distraction. Nation kills Condor straight away. They're walking in. Scout's going to start the cap. Uh, he's going to get loads of cap time. It's just Ryder left alive, but he's going to get focused down. Forsaken is on spot. Where is he? He's going in top right, disguised as an enemy scout. He's walking backwards, backwards. so nobody knows. Um, I think they know, though. I don't so think it worked. He's gonna, he's gonna cloak, though. He's got the dead ringer on. He wanted to take damage. He's gonna uncloak on the point, but uh, he did not see Joshua standing right behind him. Gonna get cleaned up. They're gonna start the cap on two. Uh, anime are gonna contest because they have to, but Demol's hitting heads. Yeah, Nookie's just gonna go as big as he can right now. Kills one, sets up a frag on the other, gonna kill another. Uh, Nookie's going complete, just mouse one, M plus W, mouse one plus W right now. Just trying to go forward. Um, and he's gonna get on the cap actually, and no one's there in time. And once again, a scout's able to steal around for Anima. But it's too little, too late, and as, I, as there's only a minute left on the clock. Yeah, we're in dead time now. You'll see some spooky strats in the middle. Do you see the sniper and the spy from anime and a pyro actually from Nation? So yeah, this is uh, what I wanted to see now. It's the new meta kind of stuff just to end out this game. Yeah, Nation's pyro <laughs> uh, handles this middle. I want to just get headshot by Iosin right away actually as he's just trying to reflect like he's taking so much damage. This is going to die right away is he? Yep, 3 HP if the pyro goes down. And while Fragmented is getting domed right away. As a little headshot actually brings out into Dr. Full. Well, animate losing this mid. Nookie goes down, just left for a second on the spy, just trying to get an ambassador ahead. Judge Willie Crater, no, he just gets blown away, and that's the last, that's the last hurrah of animate as they uh, lose this mid and we'll take the game. You want to fight him though, you know, the pyro? It's pretty good. Yeah, and we're going to see uh, Nation on the pyro, going to valiantly try and defend everything. Um. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Complete nonsense 2k on. Um, the sniper and scout there from Nation with a big flank. Uh, forced his soldier away as well. Maybe that's what they needed all along. Uh, the engineer, sniper, pyro combination. Uh, but that will finish 5 2 and mean the points are completely split tonight, free for free. Um, as we should be able to give a log up for that game fairly swift. And then I believe the players are already en route for interviews. Have we got the logs, David? Put them in. Nice. I hope so. Yeah. Initially, what I see from the logs is just a much bigger performance um, from Demol, really standing out. Thirty-four to twenty-two, huge KD really to get as Roma. We talked about you know Forsaken doing work in the last map, but still getting a bad KD. Demol was able to combine both here. Uh, top damage, top frags. Um, yeah, Doing loads of headshots as well. Yeah. Hello. And Hello. we're joined by everyone Hello. here as well. Hi guys. We're so eager for the interviews. Yeah. Uh, let's start with Lego. Lego, what happened? Obviously, let's start where the map started on process. Really close game, and then Walter's back cap, and that put it to 4-2. Uh, and from that point, Animate just kept themselves ahead. What happened on that map? Well, it's it's kind of it's process. We're not that good on process, to be honest. It's just probably our worst map. It's the best map. We don't like to play it. We have been struggling on it a lot when we've been playing it against every team, more or less. Yeah, we struggled a lot on the mids. Like uh, Forsaken had a ton of like really good jumps that distracted all of us, and we weren't able to take him out quickly enough. And that kind of gave Raider a lot of a ton of space to just go in and wipe wipe the floor with our team. Yep. And it just kind of went, just kept going downhill from there. And process has never been a strong map of ours. Probably, yeah, like Phil said, our worst map by far. Obviously, then on Sunshine, much more convincing. Are you more comfortable on Sunshine? Is that map you've played a lot? 
Not really, we think we played it... What? Three times before? Two times before this? Yeah, we only played it last week. Yeah. Played it Monday, Tuesday, and then today. Yeah. And that was it. I think we played it a lot more. Blitzed it tonight, just absolutely crushed on it. You've got it next week as well in your um, crucial true. game against Full Tilt as well. Yeah. Let's talk to... Is that only Nation? Nation, is that only you here from? Yeah. And a mate. Uh, how come Natural wasn't available tonight? Um, surprisingly for everyone, he has a date. Whoa. No he way. He to have a date, I think no it is way. rather. So we decided to have a pocket with bottom damage and make space over like pushing the official to tomorrow. Yeah, do you think that worked better for you? Obviously on process, um, you know, results like, gonna speak for themselves. Everybody who ever played with Natural, like he's a good caller and great guy, but he is like a heal vacuum. He takes so many heals and I don't really like to play like that. So I just let most of the heals to Ryder and I was just going from making space most of the time. And, and on the process game, like I think Ryder proved himself that he's actually the greatest player we have in Animate by crashing Echo. So what? I think that was like the reason we actually won on the process. Because I because Ryder like capitalized out of the space for a second and I did sometimes. What's the difference then? What went what changed then when you went on Sunshine? What started going wrong? Um, we are not we don't really play that much. I don't even think we played Sunshine ever. But that sounds like excuse. Like you I don't know why, but after we won process our member just died and we just stopped talking for like ten minutes. Then we just ready up without even like saying anything and that's how the game went and like in mid game like for second felt like he's not doing much so he asked me to swap so i actually played roma for like last yeah we noticed 10 yeah. minutes for second yeah. switched it up on shotgun i don't know they played well it's really nothing we like we could we could win like i think i believe we can win every game but we just didn't win this one on, we noticed on like on process, Demul really struggled to get anything done, whereas on Sunshine obviously had a pretty huge game. Was that anything yeah. you guys were doing consciously to shut out Demul? Or like no disrespect to Lego, but I still like consider Demul as like the best player by far. I'm sorry guys. That's so the I nicest just... thing anyone's ever said about <laughs> Dr. Phil. What? <laughs> that you're you know, for most crucial player on Lego. No, 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 I said Demo. He said Demo. Oh, no. did wow. I know he said Demo. Sorry, Phil. <laughs> wow. Sorry, Phil. Wow. Fuck, break my ideas. Carry on. God damn it. Sorry. So we just decided to focus Demo in most of the situations, and we just couldn't do it on the Sunshine for some reason. Yeah, uh, let's look going forward then. Obviously, Animate, you have Epsilon next. Mm -hmm. So, six points in the bag. Yeah, I'm still waiting to deny Shockey. Yeah, you can <laughs> as a Merc. <laughs> yeah. I've been waiting for someone to do that all season. Like, it seems such an easy thing to do. <laughs> but too much sportsmanship. Uh, and then, obviously, Reason in your last game. So, how do you feel going into your final two matches of the season? He's going to take it as it comes, see what happens? Um, like, realistically, we don't have any chance to win. That's like... I'm, that's not very nice to say, but these two teams are so much better than us, and we all know that. So, I just want, like, I'm going to dream hack with Saints, so I'm probably just going to more focus about that than ETF 12. Yeah, not a bad decision. Uh, whereas, Lego, your guys' last two games are much more interesting. Obviously, it's sort of become a two horse race after last night's result between TLR and Serpents for sort of a third place. Uh, so this puts you one point ahead of Full Tilt as it stands, but obviously Full Tilt still have a game to play this week. Uh, so it's going to make your next game basically against Full Tilt really crucial. Do you still feel confident you can make the playoffs after yeah. tonight's result? I'm just playing Epsilon as well. You... Uh, that's going to have Epsilon. But I, yeah. I believe we can make it. Yeah, uh, yeah. so you guys have Serpents, and you play Full Tilt then Serpents, yeah. and Full Tilt play you, obviously, and then Epsilon. So, on the basis, let's say, because who have they got this week, Full Tilt? 
dogs. dogs. So on the basis they don't choke as hard as anyone's ever choked before, um, they will go, let me do head maps, five points ahead of you? Yeah. Yeah. So then, obviously, on the basis that you might gain those six points back, if you can take all six points, it's only it's all to play for still, I guess. But it makes next week's game really crucial. Yeah. Yep. Any oh, secret plans? Uh, no, none. We, we'd like to uh, yeah, share. Not a secret. No, <laughs> tell you. <laughs> Are you feeling confident on the maps? Is it sunshine and granary next week? I yep. think we're it just is. glad the process is finished. Yeah. And that shit out of the way. <laughs> The yeah, season gets a lot more fun. The map blows. It's so bad. Yeah. So confident then, yeah? Yeah. Like, I personally believe we can beat Full Tilt. And Serpent, for that matter. No? Okay, convincing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not much to say, I think. <laughs> Give some callouts. Yeah, who's gonna, who gonna exploit? You're gonna exploit sideshow on the flank. <laughs> How did you know? It's, uh, <laughs> to be fair, it's impossible. I don't know. Give me some more. Tell me some more about how you're going. You, how you're preparing for next week? I don't think I prepare than any like any different from any other game. To be fair, going into it in the cover, like with the confidence that we can actually win, I'm gonna take all six points. Do you believe if you do get to playoffs, like, anything can happen? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You've had yeah, close yeah. games already against Yeah, exactly. Both against Epson and Reason. Yeah. Um, I, would, I would say it's doable, depending on the maps, of course. Well, you just told everyone your worst map is process. So, yeah, hopefully. But, so, yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully we can ban that if needed. Mm, if you make it. Exactly. <laughs> That might be our secret plan, though. Tell everyone it's our worst map when it's actually our best. Throw it in the season <laughs> so everyone picks it against for you in playoffs. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Nice. Mind games. How are you guys? Are you guys ready for DreamHack as well? Obviously, that's at the end of the month, is it? Or the end of November? Yeah. End of November. Yeah? Are you guys all sorted? Ready to go? I think everyone's booked their flight already. Even Sorex? Uh, I think so. I believe so, yeah. Okay, nice. I don't think there's uh, any, like, special practice we need to do, like, other than normal for, for land, so... Gotta be the first land for a lot of us. Is That'd it... be interesting. Have you... You've been, you went to last Ice Age, didn't you, Phil? We didn't play. Yeah, no, I only spectated. And... So we... Ice, you your first land, Condom? It's, yeah, I think it's everyone's first land except for Phil. Well, but I Phil's think I've played... a spectator. Yeah. That counts. <laughs> <laughs> I was there, please. You didn't really play more than I did, so it's okay. <laughs> you think you can win? Remake roll, it is slam, yeah, yeah. anything can happen. Like, Are you worried you no... guys might all choke? Not really, like... We're gonna be the underdogs to Reason and Epsilon, of course, so... Makes sense. Yeah, and, and Saints. Saints. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't forget the Saints, please. Don't get ahead of yourself, Nation, please. <laughs> don't you need like six players first before you actually... That's true. That's true. I know, five's pretty good. Five's pretty close to six. Depends who the five players are, you know? Yeah. No? Anything else? Anyone else? Molesto, anything else you want to add? No, not really. Other shout outs, I guess. Nothing else. Yeah? Go through. Anyone want to shout anything out before we go? Yeah. Shout out our amazing cameraman, David the One. Commander yeah, X for doing a solo cast. Crystal, F2, Sen, Helberg, Lux, uh. v <laughs> And yeah, I think that's about it. Condom, Nation, Josh. I'll give a shout out to Big Gun Clan, give a shout out to Samsa and Captain, and Huffy Cool as well. And to that one guy that keeps asking what the story behind my name is. <laughs> what is the story behind your name? Uh, it's a long story, actually. Uh, but basically, no, I stole no, no. it when we I was nine. We don't have time for this. 
<laughs> I was watching my older brother play Call of Duty and I stole it for some guy he was playing. And he had like cotton with capital C and capital N. I just changed it to condom. It's fucking stupid and I hate it, but <laughs> everybody just calls me condom no matter what I rename it to. That wasn't a long story at all. Yeah, that's, that's a short <laughs> question. <laughs> it's a long story, yeah. yeah. About uh, that. Shout out to Hallo as well, I'm sorry Hallo. Nation, Josh, anything? Um, shout out to the guy who promised me Overwatch. I still don't have it. And shout out to my boy Mundi. And that's it. I'm gonna presume Josh is busy. So thank you mm? to Melissa. Thank you. No, too late, Josh. You've missed your opportunity now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to Molesto. Thank you to David for being here with me. Thank you to everyone who watched. Um, yeah, and we'll be back, I believe, tomorrow with some more action. Pretty sure. Let's go with that. So, yeah, tune in tomorrow for an epic game. Thanks, guys.